What do you think about that uptick in oil prices seemingly on uh, the incident in the Gulf of Oman right now where some unauthorized people are, have entered uh, an oil taker? Uh, any thoughts about that, that jump in oil prices this morning? Yeah, I think uh, fortunately we won't see data on that in the CPI read that we're about to get because obviously that's where the market is focused right now. Um, and energy prices will, uh, will definitely have an impact on core CPI. So we might find out uh, in a couple of months that it actually did have a significant impact. Uh, we don't know yet, but uh, thankfully, as far as today's numbers are concerned, it's, it's a little too far out to tell. Right. All right, we'll continue to watch that story. Um, I want to focus on today and the market today. Uh, of course, we have CPI coming up later today. With that in mind, what's your WEX word of the day? Yeah, so my word of the day is uh, dislocation, as in there's a clear dislocation between uh, what the market feels about itself or the economy feels about itself, I should say, uh, and what consumers feel about the economy. Because any survey you've looked at over the last two months even, uh, it's been a negative sentiment from consumers still where the economy is showing, you know, as we just talked about, you know, CPI is coming down, at least core CPI is coming down, even if there's a slight uptick overall. And the job market is still fairly strong. Yet anytime you hear from consumers, it's a bit sanguine. And I think part of it is simply that when people hear inflation is coming down, they expect that means prices will also come down rather than prices have just stopped rising, basically. All right, interesting. So you're, you're saying right now that uh, people are sanguine about this, this, the whole situation with the economy and, and their outlook for it. But what does that mean for investing? Does that mean um, you think that right now is a better time to invest in bonds? Do you think that that means that people won't be as bullish on equities? Do you believe that that means that the Magnificent Seven will be just as popular this year? Yeah, so there's another dislocation, if you will, right? The economy uh, is telling us one thing. Consumers are telling us another thing. And the stock market is telling us a completely separate story. So the, the stock market seems to be powering on regardless of what the consumer feels uh, is actually happening. And so I think that, yes, right now things are great. There's a broadening out that happened toward the end of last year where uh, – Basically, anything that wasn't the MAG-7 started to show itself uh, in the last couple of months. But I do think that once we get into uh, bumpier territory, once we start to have more volatility introduced back into the market, we will see a reversion back to something similar to the MAG-7. I don't think we'll call okay. it the MAG-7 again because a few names will drop out, but it'll be something similar. All right. So you're, you're also adding two names yourself to what could be part of this new MAG, whatever number it is. Um, both Intel and Adobe. So I do want to ask you, these are higher valuation names. Um, Intel's actually <laughs> outperformed the market over recent weeks. Uh, Adobe's underperformed the market. Why these two names? Yeah, so these are two names that uh, I believe fit into the theme of AI uh, legitimacy, right? So we had a lot of hype and speculation around AI that kicked off around uh, early 2023 with the introduction of ChatGPT. But I think What's going to happen now is we will continue our love of AI, but it'll be companies that actually have a clear path to turning a profit uh, in the in the near term. So if you think about a company like Adobe, their creative cloud uh, and their text to image uh, tool are just getting more and more valuable as more uh creators try and draw a moat around their their works, right? We just saw the lawsuit from the New York Times, for example, trying to protect their intellectual property. That benefits Adobe. And then on the okay. other side, I look at somebody like uh, Intel with Pat Belsinger out there talking AI everywhere and even now putting chips, uh, putting PCs into uh, cars. I, I think that you have to consider there's a world okay. where NVIDIA has gotten about as much uh, orders as it can possibly handle. Got and it, somebody it. else has to pick up that slack. And